you my favorite white boy, right? <laughs> I owe you for this one. Alright, you guys, I'm here to review Get Hard, the new comedy starring Will Ferrell and Kevin Hart. And uh, let's just jump right into this review. Um, I, obviously, I love Will Ferrell. Uh, Kevin Hart, I'm starting to grow on me a little bit. Really, before I couldn't stand him. He's kind of having that Chang Tatum effect on me. He's winning me over slowly. Um, but anyway, the plot of Get Hard is basically we meet Will Ferrell. Um, he's, uh, he gets into some legal problems. I don't want to give too much away in this review in case you have not seen it. But he gets into some legal trouble. And he gets, uh, sentenced to prison, but he has three days to get his affairs in order. So, he, um, asks Kevin Hart to basically teach him how to survive in prison. Well, little does Will Ferrell know that Kevin Hart has never actually been to prison. So, Kevin Hart is going to teach him how to survive prison without knowing how to survive prison. Um, and thus we have our new buddy comedy. And, uh, what I thought of Get Hard is... I, I liked it. I liked it. <clears throat> it was uh, it was enjoyable. It was fun to watch. Um, now I reviewed another Kevin Hart film a couple months ago called The Wedding Ringer with Josh Gad, and I said that those two together, I would love to see another movie with those two together. Even though I liked it, uh, there was a couple things I didn't like about The Wedding Ringer, uh, but for the most part, I did like it. I, I gave it a pretty high rating too, I think. Um, but Get Hard, yeah, Will Ferrell and Kevin Hart, man. This is this is your new comedy duo. They they work. They work. Um, so yeah, let's. Kevin Hart was so funny. Will Ferrell was hilarious, and Will Ferrell's always hilarious. But you know him, you know playing a, the whitest of whites. You know that song by Weird Al, White and Nerdy. Yeah, I swear to God, that song was written for Will Ferrell's character in this movie, because that's exactly what it is. Um, you know. <laughs> It's just, it's, it's so funny, like, there's, the, the scenes from the trailer, I mean, there's not giving too many of the jokes away, but when, uh, Kevin Hart goes up to him and goes, what's with, uh, the nickname Mayo? He's like, Mayo, it's short for mayonnaise, that's my nickname, kind of thing. Just, just joke like that, you know, he's, he's trying to be thug, and he's trying to go, like, thug life, you know, and, uh, it was fun to watch. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the pretty much the only memorable cast in this movie is, uh, Kevin Hart and Will Ferrell. I mean, you get that one guy. I can't think of his name off the top of my head right now. But he was uh, he was in White House Down. He was in the first Cheaper by the Dozen movie. He's an older guy. Older white guy. Um, I don't remember his name off the top of my head right now. Um, but but he was in this movie as well. And, uh, yeah, there's the, I mean, just this whole movie was enjoyable to watch. Um, the jokes, a lot of things with comedies is the trailers give away the best jokes. And in this case, it gives away a lot of them, but there's still a couple really good ones that aren't in the trailer. So, uh, but for the most part, the trailer does give away a lot of the good jokes of the movie. Uh, I mean, just the way the movie starts, I mean, you're kind of like, really, this is what I'm in for kind of thing, but, you know... Uh, and it does have, of course it does have its jokes that don't work, but, you know, to me, it wasn't that many, I don't know, I just have a weird sense of humor, though, you know, uh, it, it, it all depends on what type of sense of humor you have, whether it works for you or not, a couple of them didn't work for me, uh, but m the majority of them did, they tried to throw a little plot twist in there, and I just, it, that kind of took me out of the movie a little bit, uh, but other than that, you know, this movie's fun to watch, I mean, I usually when I give a review, I'm like, well, if you like this, or if you've in, ever been in this kind of situation, if you've ever been in some legal trouble and you hire somebody to tell you how to survive in prison, this is the movie for you. Um, but if not, it's still a fun watch. Uh, but this is going to be a very, very short review. Have you guys seen Get Hard? Uh, like I said, I can't say too much about it without kind of giving away the plot twist, not that it really matters anyway, but without kind of giving away a lot of the good jokes. Obviously, the two, the duo worked well together, very well together, very enjoyable to watch. Um, the jokes, I already said, that most of the good jokes are in the trailer, but there's a couple that aren't. Um, like, they're, oh my god, probably the scene where they're in the tennis court, and you'll know if you've seen the movie. 
when they're in the tennis court, that is one of my favorite scenes of the entire movie. That, oh my god, that scene's so great. Go check out Get Hard. What am I going to give Get Hard? I'm going to give uh, Get Hard a... Uh, uh, let's see, I'll probably give it... Probably either a solid A or an A minus. It's kind of in the middle of a solid A and an A minus. I just I don't have a definitive rating. I in, in the description I guess I'll probably put like an A minus or something. But uh, yeah, it's it's fun. Go check it out. Go watch. Get hard. It's time to get hard. All right. And then when you're watching the movie, as the movie progresses, you get harder. And you get harder until you can't get hard no more. Yeah. And then you're going to walk out and you're going to look at your friend and you're going to be like, dude, I just got hard. I'll see you later.